Hi everybody. Today we're over here in Townsend, Tennessee. This is the peaceful side of the Smokies. And today we're going to head into the Trailhead Steak and Trout House. A lot of you guys have been saying, Will, try this place out. Right on? I'm ready. Let's do Let's this. Do it. Today we're here at the Trailhead Steak and Trout House. Now Dawn and I, we're not much into trout, but we're definitely in the steaks. And we're here in beautiful, beautiful Townsend, Tennessee, surrounded by the beautiful Great Smoky Mountains. And one of the things that Townsend is known for is it has an entrance, its own entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And that entrance will take you to Cades Cove. But today, while well, we're here to get our eat on, are you excited for this? Now, a lot of folks have recommended us to come here and try this out. Looks kind of quaint. They got all their health department scores. It looks like they get about 100% each time. I like that cuckoo clock. I like how they put their silverware. It's kind of like little pockets on each one. This has definitely got a little bit of a flair to it. It's actually really cozy, and this place is really, really super clean. Probably one of the more cleaner restaurants I've been in in quite a while. Well, let's check out their, their menu here. Here's their appetizers. So they got trailhead potato skins. They got fried green tomatoes. They got sweet potato fries, tiger shrimp. They got soups and salads. They got a house salad. They got a fried chicken Caesar. They also have a salad bar, which is $10. All you can eat. Their beverages looks like they have uh, different types of cervezas and Coke products. They got burgers. They got a trailhead burger for $12. They got a smoked cheddar bacon burger, goat cheese burger <laughs> for 13. Um, they have a black raspberry brown sugar bacon burger, angry Steven burger. Don't want to mess with Steven. <laughs> and a Swiss mushroom burger for 14. They have a kids menu around $10. They got a catfish and a shrimp basket and a chicken basket. This is what we're here for, the hand cut steaks. So they have a sirloin, they have a ribeye, they have a flame and young hamburger steak, country fried steak, and they have a surf and turf. They also have fish and pork. So you can get some pork chops, some grilled salmon, grilled trout. Imagine their trout is good, seeing it's on the sign. They have rainbow trout, Mississippi fried catfish, and grilled tiger shrimp. And here's their sides. They have mashed potatoes, a baked potato, loaded baked potato, potato bites, green beans, sweet corn, a cup of chili. They also have a, sa a side salad or Caesar. And the salad bar is $2 extra.
Well, I got my salad, and I know, so Dawn, I don't think she really cares for her Caesar, so we're gonna switch salads here. I know she liked what looks on mine better than hers, so um, I like Caesar. But we try to get different things on the menu so we can show you, you know, as much as we can. Give your lovely bride a hug and we'll look forward to... Uh, we'll call me a bride and butter roll. I've talked to Rhonda and I know your next few months are busy, but if there's a... Ooh, salad. I still find it weird about tomatoes in a Caesar. I thought that was a little weird too. Yeah, usually it is. Um, but I like them, so it's good. <laughs> so the lighting is actually really bad. Of course, that window behind us is really messing with the video quality. But you do get bread with your meal. And a lot of folks are saying that you go to a steakhouse, you should always get bread with your meal. And there's been a, quite a few steakhouses we've been to in the area. They don't give you, let's see, the light just went. And you get bread here, and the bread is actually super soft and very, and very warm. It's actually good. Mm. What do you think about the bread? It's good. Very good. So what do you think so far? I like it so far. It's a really super clean place. You do feel like you're in the mountains. You're actually in a log cabin, technically, is what this is. Um, it feels like you're, you know, you rent those big cabins up in the mountains. Uh, there's not a lot of seating in here, and they do take reservations, so I highly suggest doing that. Uh, on a Friday and Saturday, I bet you, you might not even be able to get in here. Uh, it's very small. It's got like a mountain feel. I love, I love the photos of like the National Park. Uh, got one over here, Charlie's Bunyan. See that one right there is Charlie's Bunyan. Of course, uh, you definitely uh, have that National Park feel in here. The tables have real linens on it. And the bread came with real linens too. Dawn, do you smell that smell? I smell it. It's like that naughty pine like we smelt in um, Smoke Lies Rise Lodge that we stayed in. There's Dawn's ribeye. Look at that. It actually looks really good. And I got the pork chop with some potatoes here. Look at that. It actually looks really well. Actually looks really good, don't it? Garlic potato fries. Garlic potato fries. And these potatoes look really, really good. <laughs> this pork chop looks good. Mm. So you had medium well. Oh, that yeah, looks good. Mm. There's the pork chop. Looks really, really good. It's juicy all the way through. Let's see. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Looks good. It's got a real good uh, charred grill taste to it. It's good. It's got a lot of flavor. Does it? Your steak have mm -hmm. a little taste of it? So I'm gonna try a piece of roast pork. Oh wow. Here it is for the switch. Now that melts in your mouth. That's really good. It's got a lot of flavor too. Yeah, the pork chop is really good. The steak was really good too. It wasn't remember that steak you got the other day? It was like massive. This one wasn't as massive. But uh it tastes good though. Yeah. A lot of flavor. Uh, these potatoes, they've done well. They kind of almost like they have a, just the right firmness, but they're still like melting your mouth. My pork chop was 20, Dawn's ribeye was 25, and our total was 49.39. We're back here in a Jeep. We're going to do a final review on Trailhead Steak and Trout. Now, we did this because a lot of folks have requested us to do this, actually, quite a, quite a few folks. And so, I guess the first thing, uh, I guess the atmosphere, right? 
Uh, it's really cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, you do feel like you're in a cabin. In fact, it technically is a cabin. You get that naughty pine smell. Uh, and the place was super clean. Now, as soon as you come in there, they give you like the, the first, like the last five years of like um, um, uh, health department scores. And they scored 100%. I can see the reason why, because the place was super clean, right? Um, and the hostess and the servers were actually really good and they were on top of it. Even though they had a sign saying that they're understaffed they still did a great job mm -hmm. and the place was pretty had a lot of folks in here i couldn't really go around and show you everything because there's like you know it's kind of rude to film it's kind of busy in there it's rude to film people while they're eating people go to a restaurant to relax and they don't want old will throwing the camera in their face <laughs> but uh it was really cool into uh, you know atmosphere in there so let's get to uh the salad what do you think about the salad it was good it, it was good uh it, it was I ordered uh, the caesar salad and ended up trading with him for the yeah, garden salad yeah, yeah and so uh the caesar salad was good um they put tomatoes in it which um is That's usually different weird. but i like tomatoes so it worked out <laughs> for me right you can always uh, toss them off to the side anyways yeah. uh and then all of a sudden entrees came out what did you think about that the entrees I, the entrees you had the the um, the garlic potato fries. Yes, and then you also had the ribeye. And the ribeye was good. It was a small one. It was like ten. The garlic potato fr fries had a lot of flavor to them, and the steak was perfecto. Yeah, it didn't like melt and it all that. It kind of like melted in your yeah. mouth, and you took a bite out of it. It wasn't like. And you know, and you ordered medium, good. medium well, well, and it came out more towards the well side. But so. I'm not complaining. It was but it was still no, good. but it came, it was yes. really good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I ordered the pork chop. Wow, it was actually really good. Now that was melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It was. It kind of just melted in your mouth because he gave me a bite. And uh, in usually for pork chops, that's hard to come by because you know it's hard to cook pork chops just right. So yeah, the service and everything was real good. The atmosphere was good. Uh, so let's get to the big question we always ask: Dawn, Dawn, would you do Trailhead Steakhouse in Trout again? Yes. Yes, definitely. I definitely agree with you. Um, it was really cool. Uh, now, is this a, like a place you could take a date or a special occasion? I say so. Yes. It had it had an atmosphere. It I guess of, that was your date. Yeah, <laughs> it had like the candles and they were like flickering mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, really good. They had some uh, real linens and stuff like that. And I had the last review we did. A lot of folks say, "Hey, Will, you know, why did you point out, you know, what was on the tables?" Uh, a lot of that matters to some folks. Some folks want to know. You know, if they're going to go there and propose or they're going there for something special. They want to know if it's got real linens, you know. Uh, if you take your, your, you're going to go propose at McDonald's, you're going to get, if I proposed to you at McDonald's, would, would, would you married me? I'd be concerned. You'd be concerned. I would be probably concerned myself. <laughs> yes. As for value, um, I would say it's about average. It was about average. This is like Pigeon Forge average. Um, it was like fifty dollars after ta after uh, tip and all that. I think it was like sixty five dollars. So, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Townsend, the peaceful side of the Smokies. And we appreciate if you leave us a thumbs up, and we love you all. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.